and here it is stopping for traffic control 600 feet now coming up to the next stop sign here so oh man oh my gosh no bad oh man it was gonna go to the next stop sign looking pretty good yeah the light graphic is definitely updated the lights are a lot oh it's stopping again oh my gosh for nothing look at that stopping for traffic control in 600 feet it just shows a t intersection and if i hit this it will not continue so it knows it's red again that's the continue onto it and see it keeps moving the line back and forth it's gonna go right through this stop sign yeah it's gonna okay so here we go getting the assist from wife and baby and we're gonna see if it will stop all right, and just one more. Oh no, that's not a garbage can. Alrighty, so here are the release notes for you. Starting at the top as always, I'm not gonna read these to you, but if you wanna read the full set of release notes, go ahead and pause the video. So the huge, huge thing here, probably the biggest update these cars have ever gotten, traffic light and stop sign control. So they're basically gonna stop at any intersection, uh, red light, green light, whatever. And to continue, you either have to hit down on your drive stock, which obviously I can't drive right now, um, or you can hit your accelerator and it'll continue through that green light. And uh, if it's a red light, it's supposed to ignore that input. We will test that out. Another big part of this, when this feature is enabled, your auto steer, so basically when your autopilot is enabled, the speed limit is limited to the speed limit of the road, whatever it has on the map. Unless of course it's on the highway, in which case you can go up to 90. So I did also, <laughs> this is funny, I did also recently purchase a little stop sign um, so, <laughs> so distracted. So we're also going to test out if this will react to that stop sign. It's not an intersection. It's not a known stop sign, but I'll have Stephanie hold it, or maybe we'll put it in the grass or something. And we'll see if the car will stop for that. Also, thank you to Ryan and Mike, baby, Stephanie, and I really appreciate the support. Uh, let's get out on the road. Okay. So to start off, you got to enable this new ability. You go into controls down here and under autopilot right there, traffic light and stop sign control beta. We will enable that. And like always, you get a nice big warning telling you pay attention. So I started driving and then I double checked in autopilot settings and it actually was not enabled uh, because it was in easy entry. So make sure you actually enable it for your driving profile before you go out. So again, this should stop at all intersections um, with stop signs and stop lights and maybe even intersections without them. We will be testing that, but we're coming up on our first intersection up here. Uh, there is a stop sign, uh, the dirt turns to pavement. So the car should stop there with only traffic aware cruise control enabled. You actually don't need full autopilot enabled for this new ability. Okay, so coming up on the first stop sign, you can see it up there. The car obviously is not slowing yet. And here it is stopping for traffic control 600 feet. Uh, we have not begun slowing yet. And there it is, regen is kicking in, 33, 30. Uh, the stopping is a bit aggressive. Oh no, feels really good there. And we'll see where it stops. And perfect, zero feet, that is it. Stopped at traffic control, use accelerator or gear stock to continue. Well, I don't wanna go straight, I wanna turn, so I have to do that myself. So I'm gonna turn on the turn signal and I'm gonna have to creep forward a bit just to check for traffic. Whoa, which you gotta be careful because I hit the accelerator and it started to go. Wow, yeah, you really need to pay attention with this new ability. Um, so let's get up here for some traffic lights and stop signs. If you do end up enjoying this video, please hit like and consider subscribing. Uh, now, here is something that is gonna be a bit annoying for me. So this road, speed limit 55, because I have this new feature enabled, the max I can go is 55. It used to be 60. Okay, so coming up to, this is an intersection, of course. I am not supposed to stop, no stop sign, and the car does great. It looks like it's gonna go right through it, no confusion there. So we are slowing a bit going up that hill, and I think that's so the car can look ahead, be ready in case there is a stop sign on the other side of the hill, it'll be ready for it. So coming up to the next stop sign here, uh, the car has no indication yet that it's going to stop. And there it is in 600 feet. So it looks like at 600 feet, it starts now. It's supposed to continue if you hit down. Will it continue? No, it completely ignores that wrong input. So, oh man, oh my gosh, no, bad. Oh man, it was gonna go to the next stop sign. Okay, that is not good. That is why uh, secondary screen just got destroyed there. That is why we're paying attention, people. Um, it was gonna go right through uh, that intersection. There's double stop sign there. And that's a question I had. Uh, will it get confused by that? And it definitely did. So very interesting, <laughs> kind of scary. Look out for double stop signs, people, because 
that's a really big deal. Um, so on this road, you can see I'm going five over. It's a divided highway. That's why autopilot is allowing me to do that. So good there. Let me make sure all my cameras are aligned. Autopilot is on. I am still, I always have a hand on the wheel. My hand was still ready to go on the wheel here. So now we're gonna, oh my gosh. Now we're gonna come up to some stoplights um, and there are a uh, few in a row. So we'll see if we have that same issue that we just had with the stop sign. Um, that's kind of a unique situation where you have two stop signs in a row like that. So I don't think we're gonna see anything like that. Okay, so coming up to our first stoplight here, it's green. So the car should still slow even though it's green. And there it is, it's slowing. I'm just gonna tap the accelerator. The car's gonna continue right through it. Um, I honestly, I wasn't looking down here too much. Uh, and there we go, okay, we're slowing. Hmm, I'm not sure what that was. It kind of started to break. And now it's stopping for this next one. And it sees that it's red. And now it can't. Uh, I think the truck is in the way. Um, but we also have cars in the way. So pretty interesting. Before, uh, this is the exact same behavior Autopilot had before. It would stop with cars. Now, it's continuing. It sees the lights green, but it's gonna slow back down. So I'm gonna hit down on the stock and it's gonna continue. And it can see those traffic lights are green up there. The graphic looks like it's been updated just a little bit, so that's interesting. Let's uh, switch lanes here, all autopilot. I'm not doing any of that. We're going to go through this next intersection here and it sees stopping for traffic control. Hmm, looks like it's getting a little confused there. It said 200 feet, but obviously there wasn't one and then it didn't stop. So now we're coming up to this green light. I wish it was red. Nobody's behind me. Um, and I'll just hit down on there and continue. So looking pretty good. Yeah, the light graphic is definitely updated. The lights are a lot, oh, it's stopping again. Oh my gosh, for nothing? Oh no. Uh, I hit the accelerator there and then I fixed that. Oh my gosh, I fixed that steering input. Do you gotta pay a lot of attention on this update? Oh buddy. Um, so another light coming up here. It seemed like it got confused by the bridge. So it's gonna slow, I'm not gonna let it. I'm gonna say, please continue through this green light. Oh, the light turned yellow and it continued through. Definitely enough time. I would have made the same maneuver myself. Um, wow, okay, let's turn around and try a couple more things. Oh man, this is, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised about what's going on right now. Okay, back on the road, uh, turning autopilot back on, restricted to 45. A little confused by the lane split. I've gotten rid of the secondary camera. I don't want it to keep falling, it's my phone, and I don't want it to get destroyed, I hope that's okay. Um, you can still see what's going on, hopefully pretty clearly. So again, through the green light, I really want a red light, I would like to stop at it. I can't believe I'm saying that, but you know, we're, we're testing stuff here. So another traffic control device, I'm gonna just click that and continue through. And then here's the where it got confused before, beneath the bridge. So we're all good there. Yep, it's stopping again, and I have to hit the accelerator, and it's, yeah, it wants to, and then it wants to stop here. Oh man, okay, the guy behind me is not happy with that. So I'm gonna have to just hit the accelerator there and we're gonna speed up a bit. So we have another green light and I'm just gonna keep my foot on the accelerator because somebody's behind me, you know, and I know we're trying to test it and everything, but that's rude. So stopping again, nope. So it's doing some extra stopping there. Um, man, this is, I'm excited, but I'm, I'm a little let down right now. Uh, just a little bit. Now, keep in mind, this is the worst this is going to get. And it was stopping me at those stoplights. So worst case, I'm not paying attention, driving my own car, somebody rear ends me. That's still terrible result if that happens. Um, but you just got to keep paying attention when you're driving. We're not there yet. Uh, but I'm an optimistic, excited person. I just, I love autopilot. So I'm trying to be positive. Um, but I gotta be honest at the same time, not good. The thing that really concerns me so far, we're gonna hit this again, is that double stop sign where it was gonna send me through the first intersection and stop me at the second stop sign. So I have a different, uh, we'll try that out in a different area. So let me get to that different area where it's the exact same setup, it's just from the other direction and we'll see if it does the same thing where it is accidentally gonna try to send me through the intersection without stopping. All right, so I stopped at the grocery store. I got my essential items. And I figure before we go to that double stop sign, let's do some private stop signs. We'll go into a parking lot. Uh, let me speed this up here. And we will see if this will respond to, oh, look at that, stopping for traffic control in 600 feet. It just shows a T intersection. It sees in this private parking lot that there's a T intersection here. And this is a pretty good one because it's actually a bend. 
Um, and it's going, oh, oh, and it got confused. All right, well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and it didn't stop anywhere. So it knew something was coming up. Oh, and we got a stop sign. So again, this is a private stop. Uh, I don't know if this is a private stop sign or not, but it's stopping for it. So very good. Stopping in 50 feet and perfect. And I will click to continue. Let's see what it does. And now it's confused. It cannot make that turn. That's all right. Um, so let's try, uh, we got a, ooh, this will be interesting. We have a roundabout up here with a traffic light. So we're gonna let the car go to this traffic light and it's just going to, there we go, stopping for traffic control. And of course I'm in the right turn lane. Uh, let me fix that. That is not autopilot's fault. So there we go. And we'll hit a roundabout really quick. Everybody's always curious if in the latest update we can do roundabouts or not. Uh, I just need to slow down a bit. It is not stopping. Oh, stopping for traffic control. And then it continues and gets confused. Oh boy, there's a lot of confusion going on here. Um, so pretty interesting. It knew something was here, but it didn't know what. So it just showed the autopilot symbol um, and then kind of stopped and then just kind of continued. So, oh, here's a red light. There's, there's so much going on. I'm trying to get everything here, but you know, it's difficult. I can't control all this stuff. So we're going for the red light stopping for traffic control. If I hit this, it will not continue. So it knows it's red. Again, that's the continue onto it. Now, if I step in the accelerator, I'm sure it will. So I don't really want to do that. Now that it's green, boom, I can hit it and it continues. That's very cool. Okay, we're back on autopilot. This is where it got confused before at the T intersection. It says it's stopping again. Oh, it sees the guy on the bicycle and it doesn't stop. So it's, I don't know, it's, I think it's getting confused because there's not lines there. I really don't know what to tell you. This is new territory for me and everybody. Um, we can hit this and it does see that there's a stop sign up there. So this is definitely a private stop sign. This is Myers parking lot. Um, and there is no uh, official anything here. And there it stopped. It's getting confused because the line's not there, but it did it, it did it. So I'm okay with that. Um, let's continue here and it's not stopping for any of these rows. So that's really good. Another private stop sign up ahead and it does see it. So this is good news. I bet when we have Stephanie hold up that stop sign, I bet it's gonna stop for her. At least I hope. It's gonna be on a dirt road and there's not gonna be a line there. Just like there's kind of no line here. And it does stop. It sees the other car turning, very cool. And I will continue and take over here. So pretty good. Um, I'm, it's, it's hard because I'm really excited and I know that it's not doing a good job <laughs> like overall. Um, so there we go, another stop here. And then I think I can just hit that to continue. So the car's still doing all the accelerating and everything. I'm not doing any of that, I'm just steering. And then it wants to stop for this. I will hit continue and the light stays green so the car goes through and we're good to go. Okay, let's go hit that double stop sign scenario and then let's try holding up a stop sign which obviously will not be mapped and see how it responds to that. Okay, so here we're coming around a bend and it already knows the light is there. So it can't see the light, but it's guessing. It's guessing and it got it. Boom. There it is. Red light. I'm telling it to go. It's completely ignoring me. I accidentally turned on autopilot and we're going to turn right here. All right, it's green. I told it to continue and now I can't do that. It's not advertised to do that. That's all right. All right, so back in autopilot, auto steer, also acceleration. We have a red light. Let's test hitting the accelerator. So it's slowing down for the red light right now. I'm gonna let it slow down all the way and hope it doesn't turn green. Okay, accelerator. And it's it slowed back down. So while my foot was on the accelerator, it, I'm still letting it do everything. While my foot was on the accelerator, of course it accelerated, I'm telling it to, right? But when I took my foot off the accelerator, it slowed back down. So it will ignore your inputs to go through a stop sign or through a red light. So that's very good news. So it knows the difference. It's just being extra cautious. And from some of the examples we've seen so far, that's probably a good idea. All right, so we're coming up to these double stop signs here. Um, speed limit set to 50. And it looks like there'll be some cars ahead of us, but that's all right. It'll give us a good chance to test this. So not detecting anything quite yet. Not detecting anything. And stopping for traffic control. Seemed a little late. Um, to take action and detect it there, but the braking was perfectly reasonable, not a hard brake at all. Um, and see, it keeps moving the line back and forth. It's gonna go right through this stop sign. Yeah, it's gonna go right through it. So, uh, autopilot engineers, I love you guys, and thank you so much for sending me this update. Uh, I'm not gonna hit them, it's okay. Um, but 
there you go. There's a scenario that's kind of screwing up. So not going through, tell it to continue, and that's good. Uh, but that's, you know, that's a bit scary, guys. Uh, double stop sign like that, I, have you seen that? Is that something you come across? I use that intersection absolutely every day. Okay, so tack is on, I cannot turn on autopilot, but the feature works just like this with steering, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit, just to be sure, and it's nice, it's kinda nice we have a guide car. Okay, so stopping for traffic control, it seems to know, oh, we have a jogger here. Let's move over for him. He is displayed though, and bam, we stopped right there. Perfect. He's looking confused why I'm stopping. Continue, and there we go. Works perfectly. Car stays slow for that turn. So really nice. Even on dirt roads, you don't need a line there. Uh, that worked really, really well, actually. A, a bit better than the <laughs> all those traffic lights with the bridge and stuff. Okay, so here's something pretty interesting I wanted to try. Uh, obviously, it's detecting that we have a T intersection here on a dirt road. It's showing the line here. Will it stop? It looks like it won't. So there's that. Okay, so here we go, getting the assist from wife and baby, and we're gonna see if it will stop. So it says stopping for traffic control device, but then goes right past the stop sign and goes to this line. So really interesting. It's taking a visual picture of the stop sign then looking for the intersection and stopping at the intersection. Because as we saw before, it didn't stop at this intersection. Uh, so that's pretty wild. Let's try one more time. Okay, so one more try here. I'm gonna have her flip the sign around in the middle of me approaching. So flipping it. So it remembers that the stop sign was there even though it stopped seeing it, it still is gonna remember it's there even though it changed and still stop at this intersection. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff to figure out how this is working. All right, and just one more. Oh no, that's not a garbage can. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll have the slow sign up and it shouldn't do anything with that. It sees person, garbage, nothing. Okay, and it's not gonna do anything. So that's it for that. So some pretty wild stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna say, be careful with this one, guys. It's a lot of fun, but you saw a few mistakes just in that quick test. And really interesting how we learned that it uses the visual of the stop sign to confirm to stop at an intersection, but then it uses the actual intersection to find out where to stop. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see my car in the next video.